My name is Eugene O'Brien. I'm chairman of the board of Rona Donovan Innovative Solutions. We're a subsidiary of Rona Donovan. Uh, Rona Donovan has about 100 staff. Uh, we're bridge consultants, uh, largely. Uh, we've designed bridges such as the Lewis in Dundrum in Dublin and uh, the Drogheda Cable State Bridge. I'm leader of the Long Life Bridges project. So this is a, it's an industry academia partnership and pathways project. And we've just got four partners, uh, two, two SMEs and two universities. Rona Donovan is the Irish partner uh, and the, the, we have university partners in Denmark and in Sweden. We also have a French SME. I've been involved in European research for a long time, um, mostly on, in the thematic programs and transport and infrastructure. Uh, the Marie Curie is quite different. And the first time I tried to get involved, I, I made the mistake of assuming it was a research program. But of course, it's all about training. And once you understand that, you, you will you'll benefit a lot more from the program. Uh, so in this case, we got involved. Our, our project is an industry academia partnerships program. Um, and we got involved to train up our people with some of the leading experts in the world. So our industry people, uh, two of them have spent a year each, uh, one, in, one in Sweden and one in Denmark. It's been extremely beneficial for them. Of course, we miss them when they're gone, but it's a long-term investment. And we've also had a, a postdoc from uh, Sweden visit us for a year, and he did some really good work. So I think uh, this makes a lot of sense for somebody who has some research challenges that they would like somebody to address. Essentially, you're getting free labor to address this problem or who would have long-term training needs for their own staff. I got involved in Marie Curie this time because, um, because of a visit by the National Contact in Ireland. And, and uh, I heard about this industry academia program. It was the first I'd heard of it. And that was just a nice fit for us. And it's also a little bit undersubscribed, so we thought that our probability of success might be a bit higher. And it's worked out really well. Uh, we've, we've won it and uh, it's a nice small project. There are only four partners, so easy to manage and very little of these complicated negotiations that you have when you have 10 or 15 partners in a research project. We found our partners um, through personal contacts for the most part. So some of them I knew myself and others came strongly recommended. So we, we went, we deliberately targeted some of the best universities we could find and some of the best people we could find. The industry partner um, was a French company. We had had some dealings with them before, uh, but they're a nice, they're a nice uh, uh, aspect to them in that they're, they're mostly in the nuclear industry. So they have a lot of experience of calculating the risk of a nuclear disaster, and they're now trying to shift that into the transport sector. So we brought the expertise in transport and they brought the expertise in risk. So it was a happy marriage. The project we're working on uh, is progressing very well. It's in the latter stages now. We've had our midterm review and uh, most of our secondments have actually taken place. Uh, but we had one guy was delayed uh, for various reasons. So he only just started there in this spring. Uh, so we won't actually finish for another year or so. Uh, so we've, some people have been on succumbent and have come back. Uh, so we're getting good feedback at this stage and uh, lots, of, lots of papers written by the academic partners. Of course, this is the thing, the academic partners want to write papers, the SME partners want unique selling points, and uh, as long as everybody understands that, that works fine. But, uh, we had to have long discussions at the beginning to, so that we all understood what we wanted out of it. The benefits of getting involved in this program, uh, uh, one is the training. Uh, so there's an opportunity for us to get our staff out there with some of the best academics in the world, get them back into a more academic environment for a while and get them back up to speed on theoretical developments, perhaps in areas they're not familiar with. There are some challenges. Um, the, the overhead is modest, it's 20%. Uh, so the, the office is, is essentially losing money because 20% doesn't cover all your overheads. Uh, so you need to want the research. I mean, you need to have, be getting some benefit from the research for this to make sense. 
Uh, so that's a, a modest disadvantage. Uh, you wouldn't just be in it for the money. Um, other drawbacks is that, of course, you hate to lose your staff, you know, your good staff. You hate to lose them and send them off in secondment for a year. That's a long time to be missing a key person. Uh, but it's a good long-term investment, so I think it's worth it in the long term. I would recommend it to other companies. Now, it needs to be a certain kind of company. It needs to be a kind of company that has a research challenge or research challenges. Uh, you shouldn't get involved in this just for the sake of being involved in it or for prestige or for the money or something like that. It only makes sense if you're the kind of company that's trying to push the boundaries of of knowledge and develop new ideas. Uh, so for, for companies like that, definitely it's, it's a great way to get uh, really expert people and uh, to help you develop something.